Okay, so I'm doing the video that I promised <laughs> about the hobby that I don't respect. I feel like you might be able to guess what this hobby is, but you might, you might not guess, but I feel like if you're, my underwear is just over here, sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, um, yeah, I feel like you can guess what this hobby is, like, if you think about it really hard, but let me just introduce how I first became familiar with this hobby and like I mean it's it's honestly really infamous on the internet it's infamous like IRL too actually but anyway the first time that I met someone with this hobby um I met them with this this friend that I had <laughs> that's so mean but we are no longer friends um for a lot of reasons but um yeah, if you know her lore, uh, I call her con girl. Like, not to her face, obviously, but I call her con girl. Not because she's a con artist, but that she went to a lot of cons, like conventions. Which, like, I kind of blame her for why I never went to any conventions. Which, like, I kind of, like, regret a little bit. But, like, I mean, I could go to a convention now. There's, like, conventions in Korea. I could go and buy merch. I would waste so much money on, like, merch and stickers and stuff like that. Because, obviously, I'm, like, that's a trap for me. But, okay. That's beside the point. Back when I was in high school, I had, like, it wasn't really a group of friends. But I was friends with people that were, like, into anime. And when I say, like, into anime, I mean, like, weeaboo into anime. Not, like... Not like casual fans, not like anime enjoyers, you know what I'm saying? Like, this was that era. Like, it was that era where like, see, I feel like now I'm like living my free best life because now it's like not really weird to wear an anime t-shirt. Like, I mean, sometimes somebody weird will talk to you because you're wearing an anime t-shirt, but like, you know what I mean? Like, there is not, uh like as much of a stigma around like anime as there was back then I feel like that time was like really crazy honestly like I just remember this girl wearing this shirt all the time that said like I heart yaoi like it was just weird like why would you like why would you be that cringe in public like why would you be that cringe but anyway um at that time like Honestly, I've always been, like, more of a, uh, like, manga reader than a anime watcher. That's besides the point. Anyway, what I'm saying is I met these friends during that era of, like, high school. And, like, it was cool. Like, you know, Con Girl was really into Full Metal Alchemist. Um, she, like, she had, like, a Full Metal Alchemist sweatshirt that she, like, only wore I think I've never seen her wear anything besides that sweatshirt like I saw it go from red to pink like that's how much she wore it <laughs> um but yeah anyway it was kind of and she was really obsessed with um Kingdom Hearts Final Fantasy one of those games she was really obsessed and like her cosplay was honestly like kind of ghetto but she like had gained recognition in the community because like like I guess like she was kind of like a skinny legend so like her costume looked decent in photo but like if you saw it IRL you were like girl you need to learn how to sew and actually like see I was a nice friend I was like I will help you because I know how to use a sewing machine I can help you I will like teach you but she like literally did everything really ghetto and like she just never wanted to improve which kind of brings us to how I met this person who has a specific hobby. I feel like you might be picking up what I'm putting down because it's it's cosplay adjacent. And like I respect cosplayers because that's, I mean, except except Con Girl. Like she could have done better. Like why why was she not trying? But anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's related to cosplay, but I don't think it is. And that's why I've changed my opinion on this hobby. So I was like with this friend 
and we went to um we we were you know in the Chicago area so obviously she was like oh let's like go to like the what is that it's Oak Brook is that Oak Brook Winfield wherever the Mitsua is in Chicago y'all know the one I'm talking about um and she would she was like oh let's go there because every time I hung out with her that's where we'd end up because like she wanted to go buy stuff like she always wanted to go to the bookstore which fair valid um but I always would just go there to like buy literally I would just go there and like buy um like skincare or um like snacks <laughs> like Japanese snacks and like get the get that that big sushi pack you know the the cheap one and like basically I just bought food and like skincare which is like on brand for me still but anyway um we'd go there and like she would bring me to help her like buy or read things so she would know what they are which is like insane because like y'all I am like Japanese illiterate like I am literally guessing based off like reading kanjis that I can read and like filling the gap of like what I can like sort of read so like you trusting me is really stupid but anyway she she would like invite me to come with her and I was like you know what whatever I don't care because a it's a free ride I had no car right I still have no car but you know what I mean like I had no car it was a free ride I was gonna go like buy stuff that I wanted to buy and then like uh she you know we would just like eat and hang out there and then like go home whatever so it's funny because like every time I um hung out with her like that not every time I hung out with her but like every time that we went to um uh, Mitsuo it was like her me doing her a favor in some sort of weird way but anyway uh she I remember like that time she went to go buy the next or last volume of Vampire Night and it was the it was like the original the original edition so it was not in English and then I was like oh like are you studying like because honestly it's a good way to study like I feel like just because it's all dialogue like I, f I mean my most read Korean books are definitely just like webtoons and stuff like that because like it's fast to read like I feel like any um like if you're learning a second language or third language like honestly the easiest stuff to read or like stuff that are like dialogue like the first books that I finished ever in Korean were just like ones that were like really trashy like light novel-esque type of books because like it's easier to read but anyway not that I it's like I didn't even I read stuff that I didn't care or want to read but just because it was easy to read is why I read it and I was like oh I finished one but anyway, um, I was like, oh, you're saying, she's like, no, it's like really hard. And I was like, you know, like they sell the books here at this bookstore. Like, why don't, why don't you get it? Oh, Cause I was like, bro, I'm, t I'm like a little bit too lazy to learn Japanese because like at that time, I think I already started learning Korean. I don't really remember. I know I'd like already, I'd already like learned cause this was after high school, I guess I'd already like taken Chinese. So like. I don't know I was like more interested in like Mandarin or Korean than I was in learning Japanese because like Japanese is like hard for me like bro my brain does not like remember the vocab words like I can remember the grammar points but the words are like I don't know my brain's broken it's also not really good at um I try to learn French no that that was hard but anyway uh <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked sorry so anyway um after that she's like oh well let's go to the um the little food court because my uh friend is coming here oh yeah it's Schomburg that's where it is it's Schomburg um anyway she's like oh my friend's coming here like he's gonna be here pretty soon and I was like okay cool whatever I do not know this friend she has a lot of friends from like she had a lot of she was the first person I knew that had like internet friends I guess because she went to a lot of cons and so like there's I knew one of her internet friends who's like internet name was mango and she she was pretty cool like i remember like hanging out with her at like the functions that she would like have but anyway that's not who came 
it was this very large guy that like 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 tall huge guy that came and I was like okay but it was really weird because this guy was like only like talking in like a Mickey Mouse voice now I like disclaimer I am not like making fun of this guy because like he obviously had like a mental disability and I know that a lot of people in this community often have a mental disability and this is not this is not slander against them in any kind of way I'm just saying this guy this is like a descriptor of his his aura okay so he was just like only talking in Mickey Mouse voice which I thought was weird but I was like okay whatever weird friend cool um and then he started talking about his they were like talking about cosplay because I guess Aeson was coming up or something like that and then he was like talking about his 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 um his cosplay and that's when I found out what a furry was so I guess his like furry he was like technically a furry I guess because his like thing that he wore was Mickey Mouse and it was this very realistic Mickey Mouse that like you can like open the mouth and stuff like it was honestly kind of impressive but I did not understand what I was seeing like I, I didn't I had no idea mind you, this was like 2000 or like early 2000s okay so like I really didn't know like this like I mean, I know the furry, I've watched furry documentaries, so I know, like, furry has been around for a very long time-ish, you know, but, like, I, I had never, like, never seen that, so I was just like, okay, like, that, like, your, your weird friend has, like, this weird hobby, but that, that's cool, it's just, like, kind of cosplay, but, like, inside, okay, whatever, so that was my first encounter with, like, someone who was a furry. And, like, it was weird, but it wasn't bad. Like, I didn't feel like he was, like, weird or creepy or anything like that. I just, well, I did think it was weird. But, you know what I mean? I didn't think he was, like, creepy or anything. Like, I just was like, oh, you know, whatever. And then time went by and I, um, she, like, would tell me about some other friends that she had that were, like, furries, too. And I was just like, okay, like, he dresses up like a giant cat. It's whatever. Um, and, like... I guess at that point I was like very neutral about the, the furry community because I was just like you know like that's their hobby they spend a lot of money on it they have like these you know it's cosplay in my mind I felt like it was cosplay but then like over time it started to get like more controversial in the like internet sphere and stuff because they were like you know weird people who are furries and like they're weird like you know happenings at furry conventions and stuff like that or like they're just be like straight up criminals and I like I get I kind of get like why there could be more people like that in that community just because there's a level of like anonymity to it it's like you like you know you know how like people on the internet are like ruder and like more often trolls and stuff like that because you don't see their face they're like behind this like username anime profile picture like who knows who that is right so I feel like Sometimes that does bring out the, like, nasty people or the nasty in people. So, like, still, I was like, you know, those are a few people in the community, whatever. And I, and I still feel that way, too. I don't think all of them are, I mean, there's, like, straight up, like, fascists and, and like, you know, pedophiles and stuff in that community. Like, I get it. But th those kind of people are in, like, a lot of communities. So I'm not, like, blaming their their group for that but I'm just saying like the controversies kept coming out and then like you know it was weird but I still again I still felt pretty neutral about I was like you know that's not my hobby you couldn't pay me to do it but do you do you so then <laughs> like I met this friend now I really like this friend she's cool we like hang out when we can but there there is something about this hobby that I feel like I cannot respect because number one is like it's kind of this like weird I feel like it's like low-key connected to body dysmorphia 
because my friend will often not want to take any photos of herself unless she is in her suit or like partially in her suit. Um, and she has said before, like, oh, I don't want to see my face. I don't want to see my body or whatever. But she very happily and like she likes to be in her suit. And like she will like she changes when she's in her suit. Now, I would only seen her in her suit this time. I, I've only seen like pictures and like heard stories from her times when she like met up with like her little furry meetups because they're like they have meetups like all the time like she must be spending like most of her paycheck on like all these parties and like I don't know it's way too social for me she is she is like a very extroverted person in general so like I feel like she enjoys it but I definitely would hate that like I could not but anyway I feel like it's this like weird crutch for her that like oh I can like you know get into my fur like you know even the the fact that they call them like fursonas is like this fursona is your new identity for the time being and like she has um quite a few actually I I'm assuming her suits probably the her collection of suits probably cost <coughs> sorry her collection of suits probably cost there's never one sneeze um her collection of suits probably costs in like the thousands like and like I will give her this her suits are very 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 well made like they're made by professionals they look better than like like mascots you know like they look better than like things I've seen on tv or at like amusement parks like they're like very well done um and like like that 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 part the aspect I still I guess kind of respect because I'm like damn that that takes skill like that's actually kind of art but do I find it like weird and bizarre yes I do like I find it weird because like we were on the beach because she wanted to take these pictures at the beach with her like suit and so like honestly the amount of luggage she bought just to be able to have her suit that she took photos in like for like maybe a total of like one hour on this trip is like insane to me I'm kind of like team light as possible packer but bro that could not be me but anyway it was really weird because I like so I had to take her pictures obviously and like I don't know why but like suddenly when, when she, she was like walking around I was like this is really weird like I felt like it was like a little bit worse than the Instagram boyfriend because I have gone on a trip with someone who like wanted me to be like the Instagram boyfriend for her and like take all her photos and like you know I'm one of those people that you just I just like take a whole bunch I'll like delete them later I'll like crop it it's cool just like take the pictures but like she would like direct you like she was like steven spielberg or some shit like that like girl i could not i could not but anyway um yeah i was like taking her picture and it was just like it was just a bizarre feeling because like people that were around were kind of like what the hell is going on I'm, I'm thinking to myself like bro i'm thinking the same thing like what is going on because i kind of find it weird to like take a photo shoot in it's not a cosplay you know what i mean like your face does not change like there's no like expressiveness to it it's kind of like how they when they remade that the lion king with the cgi and like the lions look like real lions so they don't like emote you know what i mean so it's like it's weird to me that you're taking pictures in this thing that doesn't emote like you can only like you know move your body and stuff like that so it was just like kind of strange and then like it's furry right so like we were at the beach so I'm just like kind of like dude you're gonna get like sand on it you're gonna get like you know the, the water like I was wearing like foam look I was wearing foam platform sandals which like probably the best type of shoe to wear at the beach because they do dry out really easily but even then like getting sand on my feet was really like pissing me off like the that, that was not I'm you know, it's so, it's like the sand is always there. It's like glitter. It's like always, there's always like a little bit left. Like, anyway, um, I was just like, I, I thought it, she would like 
you know, talk about like, oh, like this is how you like clean your, your, your suit. And it seemed like such a huge undertaking. Like there is no way I, I couldn't do that, that part alone. But like, I don't know. It was really weird. So like this guy actually came up to us and I had like the same interaction that I had with Kong girl, like couple years, you know, like years and years ago. Wow. Honestly, that was probably like 20 years ago from going to be honest. But like, I remember we were like outside Mitsua and she was wearing like weeb shit. Let's be honest. She was like wearing this like weeb ass outfit. And this guy, like this Japanese dude came out of the store and he asked me, um, is my friend like an otaku? And it was really weird because I wanted to just be like, yeah, yes, sir. She is an otaku. But, uh, I like, I I was just like, um, like, I just pretend like I didn't understand what he was talking about, right? And then he, like, pointed at her. Like, I'm telling you, this guy had to be, like, a fob Japanese dude. Like, he was not, like, American, bro. He was, like, he was, like, otaku. Like, he was, like, <laughs> so funny. Because he was just, like, this, like, freaking ajoshi drinking a ramune with, like, his bag of groceries and being, like, your friend is an otaku, right? I'm just like, <laughs> my wig is snatched. Like what? So I'm just like, oh yeah. And then, and then my friend was like mad about that. And I wanted to be like, so you're going to be mad about that, but we're going to go in here and you're just going to do weeb activities. And like, I remember she, she, we were like eating in the food court one time and I'm just like, you know, sitting there enjoying my miso ramen or whatever. And then like the, the, the TV was playing like a, a Japanese historical drama which like look kind of fun to be honest like I mean I do like that genre but you know what I mean like I just I'm like oh this looks cool she's like they should just they should just play anime here and I'm like what the fuck? <laughs> like she was that level of weeb like she was comic level weeb like I don't know what she's doing now because I like had to delete block her because things happened but Yeah, she like it was just weird because this guy comes up to, to comes up to me and he's like, "Oh, is there some kind of event going on?" And I was like, "Um, no, my friend's just like wearing costume." <laughs> and then he was like, "Oh, okay, cool." And then it was funny because he like he was like, "Oh, like where you you know like where you live?" And I told him, and then he was like, "Oh, I live, I live in Chonan." And I was like, "Oh, that's like not even far from me." Blah blah. blah. I'm talking to him. And then he was like, oh, look, you've been here a long time. Would you speak Korean? Then and I was like, yeah. And then we just started talking, like, speaking to each other in Korean, which was funny because, like, my friend knows enough to get by, but not that much. So we were talking. And I feel like it was, like, kind of shady because, like, we were low-key, like, don't understand this. But, you know, it'd be people's hobbies or whatever. And then that guy, I guess he just had, like, a lot of foreign friends. And, like, his, his wife is Moroccan. And she was there. But, like... It was kind of funny because this guy, like, he just, I guess he's just, he was just an introvert in the wild, bro. And he was just like, I've made a whole bunch of friends and, like, I've been making friends since before, like, there was, like, cacao and stuff. So I would have to, like, send them actual letters. And he was like, I don't really know English that well. So I had to, like, use my little, like, electric dictionary to, like, write these letters and stuff. And I was like, that's a dedication. Um, but he, he, he was really nice, you know, like, it, it was a funny interaction and I don't think I would have ever like talked to him or he would have not come over if she wasn't wearing that because I mean that was weird and also like some kid threw sand <laughs> some kid threw sand at her which I was like that's rude and that kid's dad was like that's rude but I was just like you're wearing a giant tiger on the beach though like occupational hazard but like I don't get it like I don't like, the thing is, the thing that makes me not respect it is, like, the, like, body dysmorphia aspect of it. Like, that's kind of why there's some other hobbies. Not hobbies, but, like, there's other things that I'm, like, you know, those are, like, kind of dangerous to get into because of, like, like, I mean, I guess that could apply to, like, some other, like, alternative fashion or alternative hobbies like you know cosplay I do know like people who are into cosplay and they will just go on like really strict crazy diets that like make them sick just because 
they want to look like the character more which I think is like not the best you know so I mean I know that like there's other unhealthy aspects to other hobbies but like the whole concealing yourself to change your persona to one that you feel comfortable with because I feel like everything is kind of that to a degree like if you like like you know like if someone's like a lolita right like when they wear their their like coordinates they feel better or like more confident or whatever like I don't feel like it's the same though I feel like this is like you or like you don't want to see yourself at all and this is a way to like not work through some things that are like underlying at least for this friend and at least for some of the other people that I know in that community through her because like also her ex was uh is also in the community he's um a Korean furry and he was like they basically broke up because he was only interested in her when she was like in her like suit but not he didn't really like her he liked her persona and so she didn't like that and they broke up but I'm just like it's kind of strange I feel like I would have like so much mental dissonance of like How do you, like, how do you deal with that? Like, how do you deal with, like, knowing if somebody, because how do you, when you meet people, when she meets people at, like, her furry outings, right, they're, like, all in their, their fursuits, and, like, some of them, like, she's never seen their faces before. I mean, except, like, when there are events where you, like, drink and stuff like that. But, like, there's friends that she's just, like, met online and, like, met in person, but they were, like, in their suit, and she, like, doesn't know who they are like a lot of her friends didn't know that she wasn't Korean when like because like she's always like been in the suit and so like I don't I don't know like I just feel like that that hobby is really weird just in my opinion like and I think it takes different forms in different countries because I do feel like the furry community that's in Korea is a little bit less like toxic and less full of like you know weird people than like you know example like the american or um or european like part of the community because even she's complained about like how the american like you know like sometimes she was like oh i wouldn't go to like an american um korean or not american um furry convention because it's like weird like i i get it i guess because i feel like even like among like an anime convention I think anime convention climate has definitely changed a lot I haven't been to one but like from what I've seen I feel like back when I you know was friends with the con girl it was definitely the era of like you know the like the glomping the yaoi paddle like the you know that the cringe era of um cons and I feel like now they're more like dedicated fans and like cool stuff and like people who like you know have these like amazing cosplays and stuff like that like I feel like you know now it's like fun and chill to go but like I don't know am I am I just like kind of like an asshole toward furries right now I don't know like you be a judge I really want to know what like other people feel about furries and not like people who are just like I hate furries because you know like, I feel like that's the discourse on the internet it's, like, people are just, like I hate them like blah 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 you know but I, I just want to know like what is what does the average person really think about them? Because, like, I think, like, I, I think in general it's a harmless hobby. But I do think it has, like, a, a lot of, like, toxic, like, unhealthy aspects to it that are not what, like, nobody ever talks about them. Because, like, there's a lot of, like, mental health aspects that I think a lot of people who are furries don't address. And there's a lot of things that are like even like physical health they don't address either um like I don't I don't know like I feel like there should be a deep dive somebody do it that's not just about like the surface level or like making documentaries to make them 
to like these weird like fetishists because I feel like those kind of documentaries there's a lot of where like the tone is like look at this weird ass guy that like dresses up like a fox you know what I mean like I, I kind of want a more realistic metered type of documentary that interviews people who are furries and like gets their perspective in their life outside of being a furry like not you know what I mean because look I don't I don't I don't respect the hobby anymore I used to be like oh it's cool no it's it's it, I don't I don't get it I'm just gonna leave it at that I don't get it <laughs> I don't get why like mm, it could it is so it's so it was like it was 30 degrees like 90 whatever Fahrenheit and she was wearing this I don't I don't get it and it's funny because like everything else she did like when we were outside you know in regular people clothes she was like sweating and dying she's like it's so hot I can't stand it but then like the moment she's like wearing her suit it's all fine Girl, I don't know. Girl, I don't know. What is your experience with furries? What is what is a hobby that you just think is like, you don't get it. Like, people are free to do it, but you don't get it. This one is, I think, my number one. Like, you can do it, but I don't get it. And my, my number two one might be controversial because I know a lot of people who like it. But um, d and I don't get it. Like, I, I don't, I don't get it. D d I don't have a problem with people playing D&D. &D. I have like two or three friends who are like super into it and they would like, you know, have like meetups and do D&D. &D. But I really don't get it. I just don't get it. But yeah, that's my video. That's my, I, um, off topic section. If I made chapters, I won't make chapters. I'm just going to upload this. But I am thinking of doing like a fragrance review fragrance type video because yeah i have like a lot of fragrances like this is a guy i'm wearing today atelier chai which like smells kind of like the lush the lush cardamom coffee but like a little bit sweeter and you know um this is this looks like i use it a lot but i actually decanted some of it into like one of those like travel spritzers but i don't know if i you know see I have like a lot of fragrances but thing is I don't feel like I can do them justice of explanation this one I have used a lot but um yeah I don't think I can do a very good justice on describing their essence to you or making recommendations because some of them I don't even feel like 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 this one I don't know if you can get outside of Korea or anything or whatever but yeah I'm gonna go let me know what kind of video I should make next because I'm trying to do this again I guess um yeah bye